It is often said what a man can do, a woman can do even better. This report showcases the remarkable stories of courageous women who have fearlessly ventured into various facets of the transport sector, defying conventional gender roles. Nanaya, a dedicated nurse and devoted family woman, has ventured into the realm of ride hailing services, partnering with Bolt to supplement her income and provide for her family. The Bolt started as a source of me getting another part-time job anywhere. I'm a full-time nurse, so I started applying as a part-time in many private hospitals, but it wasn't forthcoming. So I decided to venture into this boat driving. Wow, was it difficult starting? No, it wasn't. Me having my own vehicle around, I think it was easy for me to go ahead and do it. How long have you been doing this business? Two, two years, two years. Is it lucrative? Very lucrative. Mm. If you put your heart and your mind into it, you can and you can do it, yes. It fetches a little bit of money. How much do you make in a day or in a week? I was doing from age to four, but those who go beyond four get more than 150 a day. Yeah, so let's say 150 a day times five days. Do you get scared or do you get afraid sometimes? I haven't had any scared moments from any any male or any form of harassment from any male person or passenger before but there are times people people tell me to be careful of how i go about my things not to go late at night because of theft and other issues how do you manage family life and then the job plus you have a career yes, as a nurse normally i go for night shifts that is from Thursday to Sunday. Then I close on Monday morning. Then Monday morning, when I close, I start. I don't come home straight, so I start. Then most, mostly my son, my son, when I go for night duty, he's with my mom. So my mom helps me take off my son. Then the Monday morning, he, she, my mom baths him, takes him to school for him. me. Then at 4 p.m., close from the bus driving, pick him up, you all come home. Driving a large bus may appear daunting to some, but for Charlotte, it is a fulfilling experience to commandeer that mighty steering wheel, transporting passengers to far-reaching destinations. So, how long have you been driving? Like four, five years. Oh, yeah. Four, five. What were you doing before coming here? Well, I was in school. I was learning. So when they, um, I think there was a, something like women and driving women moving the city rather so I came into it and then but actually I was schooling yes have there been some challenges bigger ones in Tell fact, us about it. the first time I saw the bus I looked at the bus and I was like I can't I called a friend and then the friend told me I shouldn't come home it's only ladies and I can do it and because of that word alone you can do it. I did it and I'm still on it. Are you married? Yes, I'm married to two kids. Mm. So how do you cope? Very stressful. Especially my kids are small. They are they are not matured enough. So mostly and then by four AM I'm already off to work. And then I'll get to the house like um, 8, 7, 38, thereabouts. It's not easy, but I have a little sister that takes care of the children. If not, it, it would have been a big challenge for me. Mavis has assumed the uncommon role of an auto mechanic, carelessly tackling vehicle repairs. Though it may not be the most financially rewarding job at the moment, she maintains her optimism for a brighter future. I wanted to go to the army, but I didn't get a chance. And then... I was asked to go and learn like hairdressing or something and that's something I don't want I don't want to do. So then I decided to be a mechanic itself. It's not easy. Yeah, yeah, we have the difficult times and all that, but since you want to learn, you try your best to learn. How long did it take for you to become a pro? Let's say three years, four years, but I'm still learning. What are some of the challenges being a female and then being the only female here 
in a mechanic shop? I wouldn't call it a challenge because sometimes people are surprised when they see a female learning a, a male job. So when they go, oh wow, just keep it up. How do you take the pressure? The pressure there yeah, is normal. It's, it, it, it hasn't been easy though, but it's, it's okay. Um, is it lucrative? Are you making money from this business? Are you making a lot of money? How is the cash flow like? The cash flow there, yeah, right now I'm working with my boss. So the cash flow there, yeah, the money comes but it goes to my boss. Oh, so you're an apprentice? Yeah, I'm a senior apprentice. So, oh, okay. yeah. so the money comes but it goes to my boss. So he doesn't even give you some? Well, <laughs> as an apprentice, you get, sometimes you get a transportation, yeah, to the oh. house and all, yeah. I'm looking at, like, getting my own shop and working on my own as a boss, as a master, and then also get females to work with, to teach them how to do all these things. Being a bus conductor, locally known as a trotro mate, might be considered a menial job by some, but Messi remains undaunted. Driven by her determination to pursue higher education in the future, she stands resilient against society's critical gaze. How old are you? I'm 15 years old. Why are you not in school? Why are you working as a bus conductor here at the Madina station? I completed JHS this year and I want, I want to help my mom because we are broke, somehow broke. Do you earn enough money from this business? Um, yeah, because I have to. Sometimes if you close 50 cities here, yeah, you can get a day, your job money 15 cities, and it helps me. Sometimes my mom sells at the station. She sells soap and other stuff, so if the market is not good, I can support her. My mother is aware I'm doing this business. But what was her first impression? How did she feel when you told her you wanted to be a bus conductor to save some money? She was like, she was scared. She was like, oh, this job is for men. And I said, oh, mom, I can do it. But still, she was, every time she's afraid. What are some of the difficult situations you face so far? The passengers, some are difficult, some too are normal. Some will take the car and they will be like, eh, you don't go to school. And even if you tell them you are going to school, they will be like, you are lying. And sometimes to the mates and the other, they will be worrying you because you are a lady. Oh, I like you, I do this, whatever, and shouting on you. Sometimes to the load or bring her is heavy than you, you are a lady. But see, you have to because you are doing the work as a conductor, so you have to. So sometimes I feel sad because you'll be tired, but still you have to. These women serve as true inspirations, breaking down barriers and showcasing their skills and determination within the transport industry. They are living proof that gender should never constrain one's aspirations or capabilities.